This is bull crap. I'm just doing me, man. So you better get used to it. Hey, hey, hey! Get back here, kid! Is something wrong? Ugh, yeah. I got a real problem on my hands here. What kind of problem? I'm the card czar of this here trading card emporium, dig? This player's been coming in with a wicked bad attitude. The guy that just bolted out of here, that was him. He's been causing the other customers a whole lot of grief. Then why don't you just ban him from your shop? I'd like to, but he can't exactly blow all his money on my cards if I kick him out now, can he? The man has a point. Look, I don't care about all this kitty card game stuff, but it's way uncool to be a jerk to people you're playing with. You don't care about this kitty card game stuff? Please, I've seen you hoarding cards. You must be thinking of someone else. Uh-huh. Expansive and impressive card collection or no, I can't just let this punk slide. Wait, why are you so riled up about this? No reason in particular. It's just this guy's like the terror of card shops occupied wide, right? And it'd be a real pain in the ass if he somehow spawned another delusion we needed to take care of. How selfless of you. Hey, you! Mm, me I'm gonna go tell this guy what's what. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> You're a lifesaver, bud. Thanks, Buckets. You bet. Now let's move, Tachibana. Move to where? If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably hanging around Card and Collection on Main Street. You're remarkably well-informed for someone who doesn't care about card games, aren't you? No. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. What a pain. You another of that guy's victims? Guy? You know, the guy. Probably just stopped in here. Terrible sense of sportsmanship, that guy. Oh, that guy. Yes, you're exactly right. It was just a short while ago. He was playing a game with some elementary schoolers and being very immature. He even made them cry. It ended up creating a huge hullabaloo. Guys making poor little innocent grade schoolers cry too? I guess some punks really are beyond redemption. Getting a little heated there, Yamato? <sighs> Just trying to keep the streets safe from delusion, that's all. Anyway, what do you suppose his next stop was? Card temple. Side streets. Man, is there a card shop you aren't intimately familiar with? I don't know what you're talking about. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. Shall we enter? I'm smashing you losers like ants! You idiots think you can call yourselves real card gamers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Yamato, it's him! It's the guy! Uh, Yamato? What are you... What? Do you not have any rare cards? The commons in your deck are all super lame too. You really suck at this. Hey, jerk ass. The hell do you want, brat? I'm no brat. You're still in middle school. Ipso facto, you're a brat. Well, I got news for you, dipwad. I'm a high schooler. Huh? Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just looked like a little middle schooler. I'm so sorry. So yeah, what's a middle schooler like you want with me? I'm a high schooler, damn it! He's down, Yamato. You do look like a middle schooler. You wanna go too, Tachibana? Uh, no, sorry. What I meant to say was that he looks like a middle schooler. Makes sense he'd be trolling around these card shops. Man, all I wanna do is enjoy some real card battles, you know? Not all this kid stuff. That's not how it works. Card games aren't one-sided. You might as well go kick over someone's sandcastle. Without an opponent, you can't even play. That's why you gotta make sure both players are having fun. Got it? Even if your opponent is just a little grade schooler. You serious? You gonna try this touchy-feely, everyone's a winner crap on me? None of those weaklings could even come close to being my opponent. They're all garbage. Every last one of them. Which is why I'm about to put you in your place. And there it is. Ha! You've gotta be joking! A baby-faced middle schooler like you is gonna come after me? 
You gonna stand around talking, or are you gonna get ready to play? Oh, you bet your ass I'll play you, Tiny. This is gonna be good. Come at me. Prepare yourself. Battle mode. Engaged and on standby. Ready? Fight! I'll go first. I summon Dante and end my turn with an assault shift. <laughs> That's all? I've already got the four cards I need to counter that lined up in my hand. The hell are you talking about? You'll see. Let's hurry this up. I'll end my turn by having my machine arm use a defense shift. <laughs> what kind of crappy card is that? I sacrifice my Dante to summon Monarch of the Unfathomable. You might not know the Monarch. It's a rare one thanks to a first-run printing error. Goes for over 100,000 yen. And your point is? My point is, I'm using the Monarch of the Unfathomable's ignition skill. Dropping you to 30 life points, loser. 30's more than enough. Yeah, keep up the tough guy act while you can. With that, I end my turn. Hurry up and draw. Didn't I tell you? I've already got what I need. This match is in the bag. Yeah, for me. No matter what you drew, there's absolutely no way you can turn things around now. I summon this card! No freaking way! That's... The right hand of the Eastern Lich King. You've gotta be kidding! And I'm using its ignition skill. Which means I get to summon again. I summon the right hand of the Western Lich King. And I immediately use its ignition skill. To summon the right leg of the Southern Lich King. Whereupon I use its ignition skill. That's... How? How were those the four cards in your hand? Summoning the left leg of the Northern Lich King. And to top it all off, I summon this. That's right. The heart of the Lich King! You don't mean... With these five cards assembled in my field, I've secured all I need to take my victory. I execute a Link combo skill, which summons Karodia the Forbidden One! I can't believe this! You know what comes next, don't you? Karodia the Forbidden One's ignition skill. Yeah, I know! Damn it, just hurry up and finish it already. <laughs> we'll be done when I say we're done. Karodia! Obliterate! Go! Perfect daybreak! Grant me my perfect victory! No! Impossible! How could I lose? What's that you said earlier? About how your opponents were all garbage? No! <laughs> Victory is mine. And you've never played this game before, right? I've only played it like twice. Honest. Whatever you say, Mr. Beginner's Luck. Let's just head back to Card Queendom. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. It's you guys, just in time. In time? In time for what? Check this. The guy from before with the bad attitude, he came back just a bit ago and was all apologies, dude. He apologized? For all of it, kid. He was talking about how he was gonna win next time for sure and how he wanted a training partner. No kidding. Well, how about that? <laughs> you friggin' bet, dude. I don't know what changed him, but it's like a Christmas miracle without the Christmas. Yeah, uh, about that. Well, sounds like things are just about settled here. Come on, Tachibana, let's hurry up and get out of here. Seriously, Yamato? You don't want to talk about that guy's defeat at the hands of Karodi? I have no idea what you're talking about. The guy just acknowledged the error of his ways and apologized. End of story. Oh, hey. Okay, Spill, what are you buying? I've never seen an otaku eyeball Romanda Rake that hard without something in mind. I'm not eyeballing anything. Just remembered an errand I've got to take care of. An errand, huh? Damn it. 
tell me, my dear Yamato. Tell me the object of thy desire, and together the two of us shall make it a reality. I told you I'm not buying anything for myself here. Oh, sure you aren't. So what say we go pay Fosmap a little visit? Why? Because you obviously are looking for something. I am not. But if you're so desperate to go to Fosmap that you'd construct such a lie, then fine. I'll babysit you. All righty, now we're getting somewhere. Off we go. Yamato. Now go, be free, bask in the fields of otaku goods and electronics. You're the one who wanted to come here. Right, so I guess that means you'll be waiting outside for me then? I guess I'll come in. So, did you find it? Did I find what? Whatever you'd parked yourself in front of the anime Blu-ray section the whole time to find. That must have been your imagination. Oh, my imagination, right. Well, whatever. I'm not judging. I saw you hanging around the anime Blu-rays yourself. What do you end up buying? Just a box set of Mobile Engineer Force Tech in the Shell, that's all. For real? Oh, you've heard of it? I mean, I guess. Bunch of engineering students with robots or whatever? Yeah, exactly. I totally dig the scene in Episode 3 when they first mobilize. It gets you crazy pumped. Oh, give me a break! Everyone says that. Ugh, no one ever gets what that show is really about. Listen up, Tachibana. The real heart of Math Tits is in the final half of the second to last episode. You know, the infamous episode 11 with the space monster invasion. You'd think the Force would team up and take him out, but not in Math Tits. Oh no, the monsters break through and manage to destroy everything. The heroes are done. But they keep fighting all through the credit sequence and into the next episode preview. And all for naught. Then episode 12 rolls around and it's 6,000 years later. Humanity's had to wait for a new generation of hero. That hits the audience like a sucker punch. Where do you go after the devastation of Earth? The future! Genius! I mean, I had to scrape my job off the floor with a spatula. You're quite the fan. You bet I am not my older brother watches it so i just catch bits of it whenever he has it on that's all very believable anyways we've got some more looking to do there's another foss map around here just waiting for us huh, i got nothing better to do So our search begins. Go on ahead. I'll be out. Yeah, yeah. But did I mention this place has an entire corner dedicated to the work of famed director Osamu Hikida? They what? Who knows? A place like this might even have something hard to find. I've changed my mind. I think I will head in there after all. <sighs> There's a rare smile. I take it you found what you were looking for? I wasn't looking for anything, so... Please. Then what's in that shopping bag hanging from your arm? What did you get? Show me the money! Hey! Let go! <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, I want to see too. Give it back, you pink punk! Jeez Louise, Yamato. This is not the kind of stuff I figured you'd be into. Let me see, Pinkoon. Damn it, Tachibana! Huh. Pinkoon's right. This doesn't seem like your jam. I mean, isn't this the new live-action movie adaptation of Magical Girl Pure Stars? Just give it back already! Okay, sorry. So, that's what you've been looking for all this time? It's what my older brother was looking for! I've never seen Yamato move that fast. His older brother, huh? But that's a show targeted at young girls. Huh. 
<sighs> what should I make tonight? What's shaking, Yamato? You look really focused on something or other. Figuring out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I mean, we are right near a supermarket and all. Hold the phone. You can actually cook? You'd be surprised at how many daily living skills non-neats have to learn. I mean, I figured you reheated things, but damn. Yamato Hongo, master chef. Who'd have thunk it? Don't you live with your parents, though? Why are you doing dinner prep yourself? Don't worry about it. Yamato? <laughs> well, how about this, then? I'll help you plan tonight's dinner. Will you now? I think I had you pegged all wrong. I figured you were just an average dude with a nasty case of puberternity. But no, you're more than that. Especially now that you've got your new big brother Asahi helping you out. I already hate this. That's the spirit. Let's start planning out tonight's menu, shall we? Can you even cook? Not at all. Come the hell on. But I'm aces when it comes to finding food in Akiba, so I'll show you every restaurant worth eating at. I'm sure they'll give us all sorts of great dinner ideas. Come on, it'll be fun. You're an idiot. And you can't have dinner without meat. So off we go to Heisei Diner. It's near the station's electric town exit. Here's our first stop on our Akihabara food tour. Heisei Diner. It's both cheap and delicious. Okay, I'll buy it. What do you recommend? Oh, the stamina fried pork, no question. The garlic on it is crazy good. Ugh, please, not garlic. The duo can't get enough garlic in their lives as it is. The duo? My parents. What? Who calls their parents the duo? I do, the Tachibana. Please tell me this place has something that's not meat on their menu. Not meat? Why would anyone want that? They're tired of meat. Plus, I want to make them something a little healthier. You know, part of a balanced diet. Hmm, that's a stumper. Akiba and nutrition don't exactly go hand in hand. You're telling me. But if we want something other than meat, we're probably going to have to do vegetables. Are you down for vegetables? Well, you know a place? I know every place. This little spot on Junk Street would be perfect. Trust me. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Tachibana, what the hell is this? Veggie ramen. Look, just because veggies in the name doesn't make it healthy. Ramen's like a giant bowl of salt. Plus, it's really hard to recreate the flavor of a good ramen place at home. Then we shall arrange for cup ramen. I can't serve cup ramen to someone who's been watching the house for me. Who have you got watching the house? Uh, my older brother. Your older brother and parents are all hanging out at home while you're out here busting your ass to find dinner? Some families do that. They have the second son cook. Look, just hurry up and show me someplace else. Well, I suppose we do need to get you and your weird family fed. Next stop, the Station Plaza. Headed into the Delusion Scape? I love Keep watching. Jarive. And why are we at a sushi restaurant exactly? Because fish is brain food. Which you'd be smart enough to know if you ate more fish. And what the heck am I supposed to learn here? Uh, how to handle the fish? I'm not gonna learn that just by watching them. Then, uh, you know how sushi rice is kind of vinegary? You could learn how to make that. <sighs> oh, I've got it. The perfect way to put wasabi on something. Wasabi's way too spicy for them. Ah, oh, come on. It's not like they're kids. They are kids! What? Uh... Whose phone is that? Back in a sec, Tachibana. Yamato? Get back here! Aha! Uh -huh. There he is. Yeah. Who 
Who's he on the phone with? Don't worry. I'll be back home before you know it. Take care of the house for your big bro in the meantime, okay? <laughs> what a big help you are. All right, you be good. See you later. Hey, big bro. Who was that on the phone? Yeah, Chachibana. How much did you hear? Everything. Though it explains nothing. What's the big deal with having younger siblings? Why are you trying to hide it? I'm not hiding anything. Oh, no. I mean, isn't this the new live-action movie adaptation of Magical Girl Pure Stars? Just get it back already! Care to explain? Uh... Not to mention, when we were looking at that ramen earlier... I can't serve cup ramen to someone who's been watching the house for me. Don't tell me. Wasabi's way too spicy for them. Aw, oh, come on. It's not like they're kids. You have an illegitimate child? What? Wait, no. A little sister. Maybe a pair of them. How the hell did you figure that out? Well, you did call them the duo, so it stands to reason. Ah, oh, fine. I'll come clean. It's not two sisters, though. I've got a little sister and a little brother. Dang, now I'm imagining a couple little Yamato skulking around back home. How old are they? My brother's in third grade and my sister's in first. So back when... Guys making poor little innocent grade schoolers cry too? Guess some punks really are beyond redemption. Four kids in one family, huh? That must be one busy household. What are you talking about? There's only three of us. But what about your older brother? <sighs> he doesn't exist, does he? No. I have no older brother. So why do you keep telling us you do? I don't know. Seemed like the thing to do. The thing to do? What? What do you want from me? There's no reason to put up all these walls, man. I honestly don't care if you like anime, manga, or whatever. Making up an imaginary big brother to blame your knowledge on? That's way more embarrassing than being an otaku. <laughs> Plus, you were so embarrassed about being a doting older brother, you hid the fact that you had younger siblings. Who said I was doting? I don't know if you noticed, but the world's on repeat. Everyone else spends every day doing the same things. You're not, but you're still taking the time to cook for your siblings. You're even trying to keep it healthy. And if I'm not mistaken, you're making something different for them every day, aren't you? And I thought the losers had some crazy ideas. You really are a great brother, aren't you? That's nothing to be embarrassed about. You should hold your head high. But wait. If you don't have a big brother, how did you know about that really old classic anime? You okay, man? Why are you crying? <laughs> Stay away! What did you do this time, Yamato? Hell if I know. Uh, wait! You guys aren't with the dude from earlier? What dude from earlier? Guess not. Sorry. I thought you guys were gonna take the shirt off my back. What happened to you? Uh, well, you see... A shakedown? He took my wallet and everything else I was carrying. All I wanted was to buy some figurines. <laughs> An otaku hunter. It makes sense they'd be coming back in style, considering the growing rate of otakudom here. It gets worse, though. We otaku have a bad reputation. So when one of us gets robbed, nobody cares. They call the theft a public service. That's bull hockey. The people doing the beating and robbing are the real danger here. Why take it out on the poor otaku? Yamato? Hey, you! Huh? Where'd he run off to? Well, he jumped me in the back alleyway. But I'm not sure where exactly he went after that. Gotcha. Let's roll, Tachibana. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna find him. Okay, I wanna be there for that.
incredible sexual tension. I never thought I'd see an IRL Cabadon. If I'm dreaming, don't pinch me. Hey, you. <sighs> Maybe you could stand to turn the greeting intensity knob down a few notches, Yamato. You must have seen what went down around here earlier, right? The shakedown? There was a shakedown? Yeah, in that alley. Oh? Well, I did see these two guys getting rather... physical... back there. But that was all. Damn. So you're not a witness, then? No, this is definitely something. Threatening a guy, holding him against the wall, could be misconstrued. Huh. You think? The punk doing the cabin on wall slam thing. Did you see where he went? I did. It's hard to tear your eyes away from such bliss. Well, I didn't see his face, my eyes stayed on his back. Get to the point. Where did he go? Toward the side streets, I think. No, I'm sure of it. That's all I needed to know. Thanks. You don't think... Could he be part of some illicit back alley love triangle with the other two? As long as he's not an earshot, yes. Yes, I think that's exactly it. Your wallet's looking awfully heavy. Let me take some of that weight off. <laughs> hey, the way I see it, I'm doing you and your flabby little arms a favor. Now hurry up and empty your pockets. Is it just me, or is that a crime in progress? Hey, Yamato! Didn't you hear me? I said empty them. I've got nothing. No money or anything. Prove it. And if you're lying to me... Hey! What the hell are you doing? Uh, he's got his whole gang after me. I'm here to help you, damn it! Huh? The hell do you want, you little punk ass? Hey, uh, now would be a good time for you to run. You got it! Yo, where are you going? Son of a... You just let him slip away. So you're the infamous otaku hunter. Oh, am I infamous now? I'm flattered, really. Warms my little heart. Are you my secret admirer or something? Shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Big words for such a little man. So what if I am hunting otaku? It's a victimless crime. It is scum of the earth anyway. I'm just plucking wicked weeds out of the Garden of Justice. You turn on the news lately? You know that last incident? The really nasty one? Perp was an otaku. They busted open his door to find his room littered with anime DVDs. So what? Otaku are just criminals in training, so I'm here to drop the hammer on him. Stop the evil before it grows. Tell me then. Tell you what, loser. Tell me what you're crazy passionate about. What you love more than anything. Everybody's got something. Yamato? Maybe don't engage with the crazy man? <laughs> not me. <laughs> Especially not some loser crap like anime. Don't screw with me. Yamato, maybe chill? You're drawing a crowd here. So you're telling me to just give up? These are your words, Tachibana. You said the same thing to me once. Did I? What, are you and your otaku boyfriend having a little tiff? Yeah, screw this. None of you are worth my time. Say whatever you want about me. But you're not getting out of here without handing over the wallet you stole. Killjoy. <laughs> I don't care. Take it. You can smell the loser nerd on this wallet anyway. Whoa. All right, let's get this back to the first victim fast. He's probably still on Jump Street. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Hey, you! I think this is yours. This is my wallet. Old Sudden Death here got it back for you. You did? <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you very much. It's cool. I'll let him know.
He thanked you, Yamato. I didn't do this for his thanks. I did it because I wanted to. I did it for me. For you, huh? Tell me, Tachibana. Why do you think that guy had such hatred for Otaku? All of them just... like stuff. That's not a crime, is it? So why then? I don't know, Yamato. I don't know. Nobody should have the right to say what's okay and what's not okay for someone else to like. Nobody. <laughs> At last, the day has come. We are mere hours from the rebirth of our dark goddess. We shall take our black feast upon the streets of Akiba! The rebirth of a dark goddess? Something got your attention, Yamato? Listen well, Tachibana. Another foe may have just reared its ugly head. What? As you just heard, there are only a few hours left until the black feast. This sounds very... animu. Oh, Tachibana. Tisk tisk. There's a secret delusion-based government division in Akiba, and this is too far-fetched? Is it really that much of a stretch to believe there could be a cult of dark goddess worshippers here? I mean, I guess not. When it rains, it pours, you know. We're gonna have to put a stop to this black feast. Are you ready to go to some dark places, Tachibana? Take me to the darkest place you know in all of Akiba. Yamato? I don't even know where to begin. The rebirth of a dark goddess and a black feast? Isn't that just... Wait, do you know something, Mippity? Uh, no. Yamato looks like he's having a good time, so let's just lead the way and see what happens. <laughs> hmm. This place suspicious enough for you? Huh. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and do some recon. You come in when I give you the signal. Capiche? Um, Asahi, isn't this... Don't worry about it. Hey, Tachibana! So, how'd it go? You find the Black Feast? What do you think? Those Artlians kept trying to force some crazy expensive painting on me. Oh, that's almost worse than the Black Feast. I mean, you can't really be surprised by that, though, can you? That was a pretty shady store to go in. When I said I wanted you to take me to some dark places, this isn't what I had in mind. You know what? If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find the next spot myself. <laughs> wow, he seems really upset. He'll get over it. Anyway, our search continues for more dark places. Let's see what depths Yamato leads us to now. should make use of it. Into the delusion scape then? Please be certain you're well prepared. Ah, the dark goddess, the black feast. Prepare thyselves, for the time is nigh. Hey, you! Speak and be heard, worm. You a member of the secret society? The one that worships the Dark Goddess? Oh, you've a keen intuition, Worm. It is indeed as you say. Then spill. Where's your secret base? Where will the Black Feast take place? For a member of a secret society, this guy's already been awfully forthcoming. But I don't think he's gonna... I have measured thee of wise sight, thou who hast seen our true form. I shall tell thee what thou wishest to know. Or maybe he will. Good. We don't have to do this the hard way. There is no need to shroud our location any longer, for we have been chosen by our dark goddess. 
Then where the hell is it? Get on with it already, man. In the heart of the station plaza, standing shoulder to shoulder with the bank of everyone. You seriously set up shop out in the open like that? You're a disgrace to secret societies everywhere. It matters not. The hour of our dark goddess's descent is upon us. Join me in welcoming the start of a new age. It took some digging, but I've unearthed their hiding spot. Digging, huh? It's time to raid their stronghold. Nobody's gonna partake of any black feast on our watch. are people gathered here. Huh. Hopefully now you'll learn not to underestimate me. Ah, the time is nigh. The Black Feast begins! Here we go. It's beginning. Something's beginning all right. What are you smiling about, bunny ears? Um, well... Don't worry about it, Mippity. Let him have his fun. He'll figure it out soon enough. <laughs> okay. What's that? Behold! The goddess appeareth! She's here? Greetings and salutations, my ambrosial kin! What the... A maid? Ah! Our dark goddess! Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you ready for the command? of the Black Feast! What on earth is going on here? Exactly what it looks like. Huh? So, what did you think of the Dark Goddess? Pretty good singing voice on her, right? Her low notes were amazing! I'm gonna try singing like that, too. What's that called again? A death metal growl? Somebody please explain what's going on here! What, did you zone out or something? That was the Dark Goddess's Black Feast. I like these little pop-up concerts. Death Metal is so energizing. You two knew about this? Well, you were having so much fun looking into the conspiracy, we just figured, you know. <laughs> you seriously didn't realize it was just going to be a concert? <laughs> Yamato, come back! <laughs> Look at him mope. He really bought it. Come on, Nibini. We should probably go follow him. The world composer hath demonstrated his interest in the Dark Goddess. Could he have course corrected? Doth he dare fulfill the eternal promise in the end? Hey, Blondie, you got a staring problem? Huh? Heh. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You eyeballing me, punk? I'm not eyeballing anyone. If anyone's got a problem here, it's you. <sighs> Let's get away from this loser, Tachibana. Hey, 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 Yamato! Ho-ho, oh, I'm gonna remember this. And you're gonna wish I didn't. <sighs> what was that dude's problem? Well, I mean, you did have a pretty unpleasant look on your face. Come off it, man. There they are, Aniki. The punks that were giving me the stink eye. Oh, give me a break. Isn't that the dude from before? Uh, it looks like he brought a larger, scarier buddy. <laughs> Yo, Tachibana. Get us someplace without too many people. Sounds like you've got a plan. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick their asses, that's what. Look at us. A pair of guys getting into trouble on the cold, lonely streets. You seem like you're enjoying this highly unenjoyable situation. <laughs> As if. Just hurry up and get us somewhere that isn't here, okay? If we don't want to throw down in front of a crowd, our best bet would probably be Junk Street. Shall we? 
bro. They're getting away. This place sparse enough? No. If we were to fight here, there's still a chance an Akihabara citizen could get caught in a crossfire. Oh, and we're not Akihabara citizens? Yamato, I'm not exactly sure you grasp the general badness of this situation. I refuse to let innocent people suffer the fallout of our actions. I couldn't live with myself if someone got hurt. And he's in his own world. Swell. Okay, hero. If this is too crowded, let's get moving. Those guys are coming and they look angry. Let's slip onto the side streets. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. So how about it? Can these be the side streets of rage? I'm afraid not. There's still too much risk of collateral damage here. We need someplace safer. How are you having so much fun? You realize we're not characters in some manga or anything, right? How much more plainly can I put this? Those guys are trying to kick our asses, and they may very well succeed. <laughs> yeah, I know. We wouldn't even be in this mess if your dirty look hadn't set them off in the first place. This is on you, man. It'll be fine if you hurry up and get us someplace without any people. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Maybe there'll be a lull somewhere around UBX. How's this strike your fancy? Relatively few people, wide open space. Yeah, I don't see this place posing us any problems. Plus, there's a police box close by. What was that? I didn't say anything. We finally caught up with ya. So, you're the punks who've been staring down my sweet little bud. Oh, nope, nope, not me. No nasty looks here. It was all that guy, him and him alone. What the hell, Tachibana? I mean, it is the truth. <sighs> Fine. I don't need you anyway. Hey, assholes! I'm gonna make you regret that you ever caught up with me. What? We wouldn't be doing this if you hadn't been scowling at me in the first place. You Yakuza kid. Do I look like Yakuza? Well, just in case you are, we brought a couple of pals. Sorry to keep you waiting, bub. This the brat with the snake eyes? I'll take all you losers on. Come at me! Yamato, quit pretending you're tough and let's get the hell out of here. What are you talking about? You are going to be crawling out of here, you dig? Huh? <laughs> They're multiplying! <sighs> We're outnumbered. I was trying to tell you that two miscreants ago. This is going to get messy by default. No way of knowing until we try. You twerps got a death wish? Uh, Yamato? What's he doing? Man, are you dense. He's clearly coming at us with a butterfly knife. I meant, why is he coming at us with a butterfly knife? You know what? Screw it. Let's just run! Oh, you think we're gonna let you run now? After all that big talk? Mistakes were made? Permit me to take the mantle from this ever-derailing iron beast. You! Long have I watched you, Composer. Are you here to save us? Ye should flee this place. S sounds like a plan to me. Come on, Yamato, let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here. But I... Shut up and move. Just head for the station. We'll lose them in the crowd. Now doth ye desire trial by combat, or doth ye concede? Oh. You wanna go now, too? We're down to throw! Let's go, yo! Macho! <sighs> Ye be fools. 
every last soul. Headed into the delusion scape? I will uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. I think we're safe now. Also, I'm sorry. I didn't exactly help with the situation back there. Eh, it takes more than a little knife to scare me. Speaking of, do you think that guy's okay? I mean, the mob leader dude was pretty pissed and had an actual weapon. Though I guess your boy does have that crazy... axe thing, so he's probably fine. Plus, he's got some kind of demonic eye hidden under those bangs, so it's the gangsters who might be in trouble. With bangs that long, he probably can't see a thing. Wait a minute. That's gotta be it. What's gotta be what? Bad eyesight. Yamato, can you read the letters on that sign over there? No. I knew it. Your eyes are bad, aren't they? That's why you gave that guy the showdown at high noon squint. <laughs> Too many late nights watching anime in the dark? Pretty much. I'm not about to turn the lights on when my brother and sister are sleeping. Hold on. Did you just not deny that you watch anime? I'd say that ship has sailed. She got that right. But you also just totally confirmed my sweet big brother theory. Quit while you're ahead, please. Are they still watching the house for you, even now? Yeah, they are. Don't you guys have any parents? No, we do. It's just that they're pretty much always busy with work. They get home real late, so it sort of fell on me to take care of the duo. It's actually why I never moved on from my anime watching days like most people do. What do you mean? Well, I'd go to school during the day, deal with clubs after school, then go home and make dinner for the kids. It was always super late by the time I could relax. And that was the slippery slope that pulled me back in. I'd just turn on the TV to unwind, and what did I see? But boys and girls saving the world. None of the shows were anything special, but for me, the mere act of watching anime was like a long-awaited reunion. A reunion? Yeah. Between two me's. The hard-working big brother, and the kid who used to get lost in his love for all this stuff. But once I was rehooked, I was hooked hard. Rented all the classics from all the greats, everything worth seeing. <sighs> I've never had anyone to talk about them with, though. I can't bear to tell my friends that I like anime and stuff. You can't? Hell no. Not if I don't want to be laughed at and ostracized. Otaku are criminals in training, remember? You know, I think I kind of understand you, Yamato. <laughs> Took you long enough. I hid my interests from everyone, but no point in keeping them secret any longer. I just want to talk about the stuff I like. Anime, manga, trading cards, all of it. After all, my interests are a part of me. They're the light that keeps me going. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm just glad I had someone to teach me that very important lesson. Oh, no kidding. Who was that? My money's on a Kemi. Yeah, gotta be a Kemi. Maybe you're better off not knowing. Huh? Anyway, let's get out of here, Tachibana. We got places to go and things to do. Hey, 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 hold up! Yamato! And thus, the time of awakening draws on apace. To these mysterious lands could it have ever nest? Uh, hey. Thanks for helping us out back when... Uh, you alright? Shouldst I be unable to find it, its absence would resound throughout history, and I, humble though I be... He is definitely not listening. Well, he doesn't look like he's been stabbed to death, so I guess everything's hunky-dory? Alas, couldst it be? Could some knave have absconded with mine sacred tome? Hunky Dory being a relative term, of course. Hey, you! Egad! Who dares? Ah, world composer. Something bugging you? Could this too be the whim of fate? That we should chance upon a meeting in mine hour of greatest need? Could be. What seems to be the problem? It is lost. What is? The most sacred of all texts. The governance of the taboo. Scattered from my hand as petals upon the wind. Okay. 
Did you drop it somewhere? If such a grimoire truly slipped from my grasp, then calamity may well be visited upon us all. Sounds bad. Where's the last place you remember having it? Whoa. The hounds of chaos have been loosed upon my memories. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Its disappearance transcends the physical, snaking into my very memories. This cannot be allowed to persist. Right, right, we'll get you your book. We owe you one after all. Yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble finding this, uh, sacred tome, was it? What does it look like? Ye shall recognize its facade by the engraving of two Chinese characters upon it, which together indicate freedom. So what you're saying is this sacred text of unfathomable power has the word freedom written on it. Should be more than enough for us to go on. Come on, Asahi. The hunt begins. May the wisdom of its pages guide thee. Alrighty, time to get looking. How's it going? Find anything? Nada. Not around here. Eh, me neither. Then we've got to be looking in the wrong place. Honestly, I'm still not entirely sure what a sacred tome looks like. Hell if I know either. But... But what? I don't know why, but there's something inside me that says we've absolutely got to find it. That's... weird. Whatever. It's probably just my imagination running wild. Maybe, but as you said before, we're facing a government agency that controls delusions, so you really never know. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. This seems like as good a place to look as any. Fingers crossed we actually find it. My fingers were born crossed. Tell me you found something. Not a scrap. Same here. Where the hell was he when he lost it? Wish we'd have thought to ask. Maybe we should look at the places he'd actually go, which really isn't a long list. It pretty much starts and ends with my delusion scape. Chuny delusion scape it is then. Come on, Yamato, let's boogie. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. A delusion scape. Shall we? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. Yamato, look! That's it, isn't it? Hmm? It says freedom on the front, and it's in here of all places. It has to be it. Doesn't really look sacred, though, does it? What's written in here, anyway? Hey, don't just read other people's books. How else are we going to confirm whether it's the right tome? Don't you remember what he told us? If such a grimoire truly slipped from my grasp, then calamity may well be visited upon us all. Don't tell me you actually believe that. Have you seen Akiba lately? If you want to dump a calamity on top of all the other crazy out there, then fine. Be my guest. Fair enough, I suppose. The other option here is to just get this back to him before anything calamitous happens. go. This, uh, is the right sacred text, isn't it? Be still, my heart. Could it truly be? Without question, this is the tome I seek. 
permit me to bestow upon you my humblest of attitudes. Just don't lose it again. Hey, so now that we've got it back, what's the deal with this thing anyway? Tis a chronicle full to bursting with love and reflections upon a fateful meeting from when the author was a lad. Ugh, meaning what exactly? Etched into these holy pages are poems of love. That is the true form of the scripture. Wait. No, it can't be. Yamato? Tell me, how many pages are in this book? It's pages number 100, upon which are writ 99 verses. Can I see the last page? Thou art worthy. It shall be allowed. It is. A blank page? Does that mean something? The sacred text still awaits its conclusion. My own existence serves as proof of that. Thanks for letting me look at it. Now be careful you don't lose it again. So what was it? What makes it sacred? <sighs> no clue. No, I'm pretty sure you have a clue. Possibly for the first time ever. Get back here, Yamato! He clearly knows more than he's letting on. What secrets does the Freedom Notebook hold within it? Hmm. Is it possible? What's he up to? Looking for something? Nope. Don't worry about it. Every time you say that, you're looking for something, and every time I find out what, you might as well just say it. Ah, fine. I'm looking for a trading card. Now we're getting somewhere. You've gotta have a decent collection, right, Tachibana? Mind if I take a look? I mean, sure, I guess. Here. Just as I thought. Uh, care to loop me in? Look, can you just come with me for a minute? No problem. We looking for cards? No, a person. Kyoya Izanagi. Huh? There's something I want to know about that sacred text of his. Kind of a sudden lane change here, but sure. Let's go say hi. They call me Pink. Pink Shark. Not in his usual spot, I see. Where could he have gone off to? Sounds like it's time for some legwork, as Saki would say. Come on. Not here either? Ah, uh, memories. This is where he saved us from those stab-happy Yakuza. Good times. Pretty darned impressive, too. If he could take on a knife-wielding gang, he must be awfully strong. Yeah, stronger than anyone else. Yamato? Hmm. Why, though? Why did he save us? He must have had a reason, right? No doubt about it. That's one thing I can be absolutely certain of. So, what was it, then? To end it. What does that mean? That's what I want to know. Let's hurry up and find him so we can ask. here somewhere get your new cards people witness the dramatic conclusion to the vana fan arc told entirely through tiny flavor text that's a little odd isn't it the conclusion dang it stop bolting like that why does everyone i know always do that hey you oh welcome welcome are you looking to buy yourself some trading cards you said this is the conclusion to the Vanna fan arc? Yep. Though I should have said it's the conclusion to vanishing fantasy in general. Because it is. 
totally bury the lead. What's it called? Uh oh, the new set? Uh, Eternal Promise. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty viable. Eternal Promise. Make sure you don't miss this chance to pick up all the boosters while you can. Hey, what's the deal? We need to get out of here. Where are we going? We still looking for Axe Man? Yeah, we've got to find him. And then, I've got a promise to fulfill. A promise? <sighs> I don't get it. How could it all end like this? What are you talking about? Don't ask me. Ask the man himself. He's got to be in the Chuni delusion scape. They call me Pink. Pink Shark. Because I'm a card shark, baby. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. A delusion scape. Yo, we're overdue for a conversation. Could the time be upon us? Wow, he actually was here after all. Kyoya, I didn't think I knew you, but I do. I know you better than anyone. This is the last verse, the final entry into the sacred tome of the boy who composed the world. I hadn't seen that in so long that I'd all but forgotten about it. So, uh, what's new with you guys? What are you talking about? Like, seriously, what? About the sacred text. The answer to what should occupy that final blank page is right in front of us. Still not really clarifying things here. Altogether, the sacred text should have 100 pages. And in Vanifan, there are 100 different cards. Wait, what are you saying? The trading card game sweeping Akiba is the encroachment of the sacred text. And man, does it ever take me back. I wrote Freedom a long time ago. One page for each character. I crafted each and every one of their stories. So you're saying you got a second delusion? Yeah, the trading cards. And one of them is standing right before you. The time has come. Let us commence your final trial. <laughs> uh, Grand Phantasm? Seriously? Back when I was writing it, it consumed my every waking thought. Or... No, it was more than that. I lived it. What could I do to cap off that final page? A proper conclusion could make it into the greatest story ever told. But as time passed, it faded from my thoughts. I'd forgotten all about it. Now, I finally remember. How dreams and delusions danced through my head as I pondered that last, unwritable page. In spite of all my creativity. I never would have expected it to come back into my life like this. So, when you said... Yeah. Stronger than anyone else. Whoa. The strongest, coolest, smartest character I'd ever created is the one who spawned from my delusion. That's you, isn't it? Kyoya Izanagi. The demon-eyed Avenger fated to save the world. I am honored to finally make your acquaintance, world composer. What the hell do you mean by that? We've made each other's acquaintance time and time again already. And why didn't you ever tell me about all this? It's not like you never had the opportunity. Do you not recognize the traits your hand writ unto me? Taciturn, cool-headed, needlessly mysterious. Your personality isn't an excuse. And you talk way too much to be taciturn. That's true. Look, Kyoya, just tell me. Tell me how this tale ends. What sort of finale did I dream up in my delusion? The composer conquers his delusion, then saves the world. A simple, oft-repeated tale, but a worthy one. Oh, so now you get to ignore your personality traits? If thou dost not nullify me, then the cycle of the never-ending day shall continue its grim march unto eternity. But... Save thy breath. The duty to carry this tale to its conclusion falls solely upon thee. Steal thy soul and fight. Fine. If that's what I must do. Yamato, 
Will you be okay with this? Is a question I heard somebody get asked in an interview once. When are you happiest as a writer? Oh? And what was the answer? When my characters take on lives of their own. When they start to speak words I didn't write, and take actions I didn't prescribe. And one of my characters is doing exactly that. Right before my eyes. How could that not make me happy? Spoken like a true author. <laughs> Say whatever you want. You ready, Kyoya? I'm gonna see this thing through to the very end. I'm gonna see the hell out of it. Is it gone? With this, the sacred text at long last sees its conclusion. Kill ya. My return to the tome is imminent. The tale's true ending shall be sealed with my homecoming. Wait. When this day finally ends, I don't think you'll get the chance to see each other again. Then once this is over, I'll rewrite the ending so we do. Thou hast already brought my tale to its conclusion. The next story to focus on should be thine own. Yeah. I'll bring this adventure to its end. In my final moments, tis my honor to deliver this unto thee. Wait. Is this? Yes. Tis the final verse, composed unto the sacred book. <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep it close to me, always. Thou dost bear a noble countenance. It suits thee well, demon-eyed Avenger. Thank you. I bid thee adieu, my friend. Farewell, Kyoya Izanagi. My strongest, greatest hero. <laughs>